game dev journey. We're going to connect the hurt node of the player. What's going to happen when you get hurt is we just call game over. And we're going to make that method. It doesn't exist, we're going to make it. So function game over. Right, so what happens when the game ends? First of all, playing becomes false. You're not playing anymore if the game's finished. Stop the game timer. So game timer, stop. Um, delete all the coins. So for all the coins in the container, we got to delete them. So for coin in dollar coin container dot get children q3 now here we can call our show game over so we can say had uh, dollar had dot show game over and now we can call our players die method so we can go dollar player dot die so those are the things that happen when the game ends so this function essentially halts the game and loops through the coins and removes any that are left over and then it calls the huds show game over function so finally the start button actually needs to activate the new game method so we're going to click on the HUD over there and we're going to find the new game signal. Here it is, start game. And we're going to connect it to our new game function in the HUD. Uh, where is our new game function? It is there, new game. Okay, so this start game must call new game. So when we click it, the actual receiver method is not that. We act, the receiver method is that. So our receiver method is new game. So we're gonna click connect, and there now it's connected. So when they click the start button, it's gonna run this. All right, and we can actually see that it the start game signal calls the new game function okay so this will actually let us let our game play so if we go to our ready function here we can actually add um, when we when we start we can update the score or actually now in the new game function we should update the score we should make sure to update the score here in the HUD so dollar HUD dot update score with the score and update the timer update timer with time left now we should be able to play the game so let's save launch and see if it works right so there's our treasure hunt logo although this is not the pirate logo so we can go and change that and there's our scores and we can click start game and there we go we can actually collect the scores are changing and when we collect all of them we go on to a new level and new coins spawn. So there are a couple of things we could change. We could maybe give this a black outline so it's easier to see on this background. We could change the font there of in our HUD. If we go to this, somehow this font got changed. So we can make that back to treasure hunt. So if we run now, we should get our correct font. And let's just see this. Uh, now this has changed back as well. I think it's because we duplicated them. Okay. Anyway, 
Oh, is that easier to see? Let's have a look. It is a bit easier to see. But we could give it an outline color here. What if we outlined it in black? How does that change things? It's not very thick. Let's just see outline color. Outline size, zero. Okay, let's give it outline size of three and see if that improves the visuals. Yes, much easier to read now. Start game, collect our coins, and there are our, is our time and our score changing. And the game, the game is functional. It doesn't look half bad, to be honest. So the game now is functional. What we could do from here is add some juice, game juice to it. So sound effects, um, visual effects, other things like that. And hopefully if I have some more free time in the weeks ahead, I'll be able to put that together for you. Thanks for sticking with me through this and I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.